Okay, just short video on how this board here works. Um, if you get the D1 Mini, just make sure it looks like this. The USB down where it has a, a place for it on the PCB. And then this just slots in where it, the only place it fits. Uh, this LED is optional. Uh, on the back of the new revisions of the board, there is a uh, LED cutout right there. And then uh, it will bypass to this three pin header right here. And now I'm gonna go over the software on how to set this up and get it up in Home Assistant. GitHub page with all the different uh, board designs and everything like that. Uh, this is linked a few different places, um, but there's the, the uh, URL for it. So if we go to web.esphome.io, see we pop it here, and since I have my device connected, you can go and select it here. Make sure you're using a cable that also does data. Some micro USB cables only do power, and this will throw you for a loop. So we're gonna do that, and then we're going to say install, uh, and we're gonna have to go back here, do this firmware in here, install, that firmware and install. And then that'll take a second to get everything all set up. And once we're all set up, we should be good to go in Home Assistant. Okay. So now in Home Assistant, we should, in theory, get a notification that a new device is available. Oh, but before we do that, we actually have to get this new device on our Wi-Fi. So we're going to go in here. I can't remember if you have to reboot it or not. You may have to. Nope. You can see tag reader right there. So we'll connect to that. It should bring us into a captive portal where we can go in and set up our, uh, I'm put this on my IoT network. Get this all set up. Looks like it worked because it disconnected us. I go back to my normal network. And in Home Assistant, one new thing. Check it out. Here's my tag reader. We can configure it. And I'm going to say this is in my wherever. Now we have our one device. I can turn on and off my LED. That's turning it on and off. Um, I can uh, scan a tag. And you can see that's in the home assistant where I'm scanning tag, what's happening. Uh, turn on and off the buzzers and everything like that. And that's the basic version of setting all this up.